So friends, today we are going to understand one of the most important concept of 8085 and that is data transfer instructions. So first we'll start with what is data and what is an address. So an address is a location at which you can store data. For example, your home is your address and at that address you are living there so you are a data okay so here a 00 h is an address and on that address we have stored 56 h 1234 h is an address and 92 is a data similarly fff h is an address and 78 h is a number we have stored on that address so here in this presentation if I do a square bracket then understand that it's an address and if I write the number directly then it's data for example here a is equal to 32 h here 32 h is a data and data will be stored in register a but in next example I have a square bracket here so 1 2 3 4 h is an address and on that address the number stored is you can check at this table the number is 92 h so this 92 h will move to register a so after running this instruction your a register will contain the number 92 and if i have written b comma c with this data 1 2 3 4 h then remember this a is a data not an address so when i write this understand that i am trying to load a pair a pair it means two registers this 1 2 will transfer to b and 3 4 will be transferred to c so these are the things we can do with data and address so let's start first what is the first thing we can do we can store an 8 bit number in some registers this is the very first example we want to store an 8 bit number in register then the register must be an 8 bit register so we have 8 bit registers a b c d e h and l these are the registers we can use in program so here a first example mvi move immediate a comma 32 this is an 8-bit number the number will be transferred to a similarly 12 it will transfer to b it's a data 3 4 another 8-bit data it will be transferred to c so these are the instruction to store or to move an 8-bit number to the register simple right next let's try to move a 16 bit number now you understand that a 16 bit number cannot be stored in 8 bit register so we'll need two 8 bit registers so we can use pair a pair is the combination of two registers so b and c they together make a pair which is a 16 bit or you can use d e this is also a 16 bit pair and we can use H and L. This is also a 16-bit register pair. So in 805, we can use these pairs. So when you want to transfer a 16-bit data, remember, 16-bit data, it means there are four digits in hex. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, H. This is a 16-bit number. When you want to do this operation, you can do it in two ways. The very first way is, you load an 8-bit number for example 32 in A and another number in B so this is a 8-bit transfer you can do it two times okay another way to transfer a 16-bit number directly is using LXI remember whenever there is an X in the instruction it is a 16-bit transfer or a pair so here LXI B now whenever we write x it means it's a pair so here we write b it means it's a bc pair this 1 2 3 4 data will be transferred to b so this 12 will go to b register and this 3 4 will go to a c register so this is in a single instruction lxib will do that in single instruction okay so this is a 16 bit transfer next you can move registers next you can move your data between resistors it's possible so now for that you are going to use the instruction move for example 
if you want to transfer a number in a you will use mbi of course this is an 8 bit transfer we saw that already here you are using move the data from b will be transferred to a for example we already load mbi b with 56 h so this 56 is stored in b if you write this then your b data which is 56 it will be transferred to a so now old data which was 32 in a it will be erased and the new data which is uh, 56 it will be stored in a so data from b is transferred to a similarly last instruction a data from a is transferred to c or copied to c okay so this is a copy from resistor to another resistor so the next thing we learn is copying from a special resistor known as m so now remember whenever you find m in any of the 8085 program just do one thing look at the data in h and l resistors and combine them as a pair for example here as you can see your h contain the data 12 and l has the contain 34 h if you take it as a combined pair the address is 1 2 3 4 h and the data at that address as you can see here it's 92 so now the number 92 you can think like this m resistor contains the data 92 h okay simple so now move a comma m you can understand this m has a data 92 and this 92 will be transferred to resistor A. You can compare these instructions with this idea where 1, 2, 3, 4, H is an address from HL. And at that address, we have stored the number 92. So friends, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the regular notifications and updates free. So next instruction is load and store. So remember, what is the meaning of load? you are reading from memory is known as load and if you want to write to memory or you want to save to memory then we'll call it a store so now these instructions will deal with memory so let's understand the first instruction lda 1234h now as you see ld it's a load so again you are reading from memory so load accumulator from this location now location is always a 16-bit address so what is the meaning of this one two three four h is an address from on that address there is a data 92 so load this number in accumulator okay so it has the same meaning like this where one two three four is an address and you are taking the data from that address and that address is 92 this data will be stored into a next is store to the address now you are writing to the address when you want to store the instruction will contain st so sta now understand that you are writing a location one two three four at on this location you are supposed to write something and what for that you have to see the a register whatever is the content in register a it will be returned to this location one two three four h so if your register a contains the number 55 h now after writing this instruction your location one two three four h will have a number 55 h you just wrote it to that location so next load from pair address now for this you want to understand the concept of pair okay lxib 1234h now lxi is a 16 bit transfer we already saw that so here you lxib it means your b and c both because it's an x in instruction whenever you read x understand you are trying to work with pair so here 1234 h will be loaded in the bc pair now you want to load the data from bc pair address ld of course you are reading ld is from loading you are reading 
a you are loading into accumulator and x is a pair so lda x b so here you have to understand first a bc pair because it's an air so bc pair makes an address here one two three four h now from this location you have to see the data on one two three four h we have 92 so this number will be stored into a okay so this is one step extra for example lda one two three four h this is a direct load accumulator from this location if you want to use lda x you have to store this number first in pair because it's a 16 bit number then you have to use lda x that is the difference next store pair address now you have to store it means you are writing to that pair address let's assume there is a data a 99h okay and your b c pair contains the number 1 2 3 4 h so stax you are storing your accumulator you are writing your accumulator to the address which address that is shown by b c pair which is here 1 2 3 4 h so this location will be return the data 99h okay next instruction is load two bytes from two location till now we have just returned single byte or we have read a single byte only one byte is stored or read from memory what if you want to write two bytes in memory for that you have to use the instruction l h l d what this instruction will do this instruction will try to read two bytes from two locations remember l h l d is a special instruction and that will read two bytes remember two bytes is a very important word here so what will happen when you write this instruction the location one two three four h and data at that location here it's an 11 it will be transferred to register l and the next instruction higher instruction 1 2 3 5 h at that location data is 22 h that will be loaded into h so remember for, for just to as a trick l stands for lower address and h stands for higher address in the same way we can store or we can write two bytes also for writing two bytes you have to use s h l d for example here in h we have 11 and in l we have stored 22 and we want to transfer these two bytes using single instructions first you have to write an address so s h l d store h l pair directly at 1 2 3 4 h so this is again 1 2 3 4 h is the lower location so l will be stored here on this location next location 1 2 3 5 h on this location you are going to write the data in h okay so at 1 2 3 4 location the data which will be stored is 22 h this was returned from the register l and this data was returned from the register h so the last instruction exchange the pair data this instruction doesn't have any operand xchg it directly works with de and hl pair what this instruction will do it will exchange the content so d will be transferred to h your e will be transferred to l and vice versa so this is the last instruction in the data transfer so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel share this video and comment if you have any questions